Good morning, North Dakota. Today is April 28, 2020. It's Tuesday. And today is the first day that you will start a new reading program. That is the second grade reading program. Yay, congratulations. That's a big accomplishment in first grade, especially before the year ends. So congratulations to you. Wow, you are amazing, hardworking students. Let me introduce to you the program. Before I do that, you were supposed to watch a video, you or your, you and your parents, of how to access, how to get the online reading book. This one that I have right here um, in front of the screen. I uploaded a video showing you the steps on how to get to this book online, okay? How to find the stories for this book online. If you haven't watched it, make sure you watch it because you're gonna need it for this lesson, okay? All right, so, um, well, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to do lesson one today, okay? So I'm going to open the book to lesson one. And I know it could be hard maybe to see the book online and then see my video at the same time, um, there's different options. You can have the option to um, see, the, see the video on a mobile device, maybe on your parents' phone or on a tablet. And if you have a laptop, you can watch um, um, the other video on the other device. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, you can watch here on my video. And then when it's time to do work, you can go ahead and go access the book online so you can see those questions you need to be answering. Okay, so this is book A of the second grade reading program. And I'm going to turn to lesson one, which is on page one. Okay, and we're going to get started. Okay, so we're on lesson one and I'm going to zoom it in so you can see better. Okay. So here's how we're going to start. You're starting a new reading program today. For most lessons, you'll need a textbook, a pencil, and lined paper. Okay, so if you were able to print out any of these papers, you are to follow along with me. And if I say touch word one, you are supposed to touch word one and track at the same time. Okay, now if you're looking at it on the screen, then make sure that you are tracking with your eyes and you are not losing, um, you're not losing your tracking with your eyes, you're not looking around, you're focused because it's important that you're focused. Okay, especially because now you are second graders for reading, all right? So let's go ahead and start. So word one, word one is rule. What word? Yes, rule. Spell rule, get ready. What word did you spell? Get ready. Yes, rule. A rule tells you what to do. Here's a rule about streets. Don't stand in the middle of streets. Tell me a rule about brushing your teeth. Can you think of any? Get ready. Yes, some ideas are brush your teeth after you eat, brush your teeth before you go to bed. And I'm pretty sure there's more rules. Those were just two examples. Word two is page. What word? Yes, page. Spell page, get ready. Word three is people. What word? Yes, people. Spell people. Get ready. Word four is tiger. What word? Yes, tiger. Spell tiger. Get ready. Word five is striped. What word? 
Yes, striped. Spell striped. Get ready. If something is striped, it has stripes. The American flag is striped. Word six is straight. What word? Yes, straight. Spell straight. Get ready. Awesome. Let's read those words again the fast way. Word one. What word? Yes, rule. Two. What word? Yes, page. Three. What word? Yes, people. Four. What word? Yes, tiger. Five. What word? Yes, striped. Six. What word? Yes, straight. All right, let's go to column two. Everyone, if you have the copy, you point. If you don't, you're looking, okay? And you're tracking with your eyes. All these words end with the letter S. Word one. What word? Yes, babies. Word two. What word? Yes, flies. Word three, what word? Yes, kittens. Word four, what word? Yes, spiders. Awesome, let's go to column three. Remember tracking, word one, what word? Yes, water, word two, what word? Yes, living. Word three. What word? Yes, through. Word four. What word? Yes, sugar. Awesome. I'm going to be pointing to some of these words and you are going to be reading those words out loud. So pay close attention to my screen. What word? Yes, people. What word? Yes, rule. What word? Yes, striped. What word? Yes, babies. What word? Yes, water. What word? Yes, living. Awesome. Turn the page or go to the next page, page two. And it says B, that is part B. We are going to read a story about a boy named Tom, okay? We are going to read this story um, about Tom, but first we are going to read an information passage. Information passages give some facts, okay? Facts, true things. This information passage gives some facts about living things, okay? Very important that you are following along. We're going to read this information passage together. So, everybody, loud and proud. Okay. Trying to make it as clear as possible. There we go. Okay. Like I said, if you have a hard copy, that means that you were able to print out some pages. I know there's a lot, so more than likely you didn't. But if you did, make sure you're tracking with your finger. So, get ready. We're reading together. Living things. 
Here is a rule about all living things. All living things grow and all living things need water. Stop right there. Everybody, keep your finger or keep your eyes on the word water while I ask questions. Listen to the rule again. All living things grow and all living things need water. Everybody say the rule about all living things. Get ready. Good. The rule tells two facts about all living things. What's the first fact? Get ready. Yes, all living things grow. What's the second fact? Get ready. Yes, all living things need water. Good. Let's keep reading. Are trees living things? Yes. So you know that trees grow and trees need water. Dogs are living things. So do dogs grow? Stop right there. Everybody keep your finger or your eyes on the word grow while I ask a question. Do dogs grow? Get ready. Yes. Keep reading. Get ready. Do dogs need water? Stop right there. Everybody, what's the answer? Get ready. Yes, they do. Let's keep reading. Get ready. People are living things. Do people grow? Stop right there. Everybody, what's the answer? Get ready. Yes. Keep reading. Get ready. Do people need water? Stop right there. What's the answer? Get ready. Yes, they do. Keep reading. Get ready. Here is another rule about all living things. All living things make babies. Stop right there. Listen to that rule again. All living things make babies. Everybody say that rule. Get ready. Yes, all living things make babies. Let's go to the next page, page three at the top. All right, the first word, tracking. Let's read, get ready. Trees are living things, so trees make baby trees. Are fish living things? Stop right there, boys and girls. What's the answer? Get ready. Yes, they are. Let's read. Get ready. So what do fish make? What's the answer? Get ready. Yes, baby fish. Keep reading. Are spiders living things? Stop right there. What's the answer? Get ready. Yes, they are. Keep reading. Get ready. So what do spiders make? What's the answer? Get ready. Yes, babies or baby spiders. Yes, trees, fish, and spiders all make babies. Let's read the last sentence. Remember the rule, all living things make babies. Right? So, you learned two rules about all living things. All living things grow and all living things need water. That's one rule. Everybody, what's the other rule about all living things? Get ready? Yes, all living things make babies. Remember the rules about all living things. Okay. 
You are going to write answers to items about what you just read. You'll write your answers on line paper. If you don't have line paper, go ahead and get one and a pencil. Okay, you're going to write your name at the top of the paper and you are going to number your paper from 1 through 13. You're also going to skip every other line. Okay, that means leave a line between each line you number. Okay, now everybody find part C if you have a copy of the book. If not, it's right here. And you can also access this on Teams, just like I showed you on the video, okay? And it's page three, all right? So these questions are all about the information passage that we just read about living things, 13, all right? One through 13 is what you're going to number two on your paper, all right? Now, I'm going to read these questions. On your paper, all you're going to do is write the answer. You don't have to write the question, only your answer. Number one, what do all living things need? Get ready. Yes, water. Now, before I continue, you are going to do this after you watch this video. Right now, we are only reviewing, okay? You don't need to write, don't write anything yet. Just make sure you have your stuff so that you don't have to be go getting it at the end of the video or just reviewing, don't write anything. Number two, what do all living things make? Get ready. Yes, babies. Number three, do all living things grow? Get ready. Yes. Number four, are flies living things? Get ready. Yes, they are. Number five, write the letters of three things you know about flies. Let's read the choices. A, flies need water. Is that true? Get ready. Yes. B, because they're living things. B, flies need sugar. Is that true? No. You're right. C. Flies grow. Get ready. Yes. D. Flies need ants. Get ready. Nope. E. Flies make babies. Get ready. Yes. So then you would only write letters. You don't have to write the whole thing. So for number five, you just write A, C, E. Okay. Number six. Are dogs living things? Get ready. Yes, they are. Number seven. So you know that dogs need, what do they need? Get ready. Yes, water. And you know that dogs make, what do they make? Get ready. Yes, babies. Number nine. Are chairs living things? Get ready. No, they're not. Number 10. Do chairs need water? Get ready. Nope, no, they don't. Okay. Now that we reviewed, only reviewed, let's go to the next part. We are on part D. What part? Get ready. Yes, part D is found on page four. So the same thing. For this, you are going to read this story with me as well. And I'm going to be asking you questions. So point to the title. The Tiger and the Frog. Let's do it together. Get ready. The tiger and the frog. Okay. Tracking. Tom's brother, and stop right there. We are reading together. Let's start over. Get ready. Tom's brother had two pets. One pet was a frog. The other pet was a big, mean tiger. Stop right there. Everybody keep your finger or your eyes on the word tiger while I ask questions.
Name the two pets that Tom's brother had. Okay, ready? Yes, a tiger and a frog. Everybody, which pet would be safe to play with? Get ready. Yes, a frog. Why wouldn't it be safe to try to play with that tiger? Get ready. Yes, it could possibly be mean. All right, let's continue reading. Get ready. Tom's brother kept his pets in boxes. One day, Tom said, I want to play with your pet frog. Tom's brother said, here's the rule about where I keep that frog. I keep the frog in the box that is striped. Stop right there. Keep your finger or your eyes on the word striped while I ask questions. Read the rule with me, boys and girls, the one that's dark black. Get ready. I keep the frog in the box that is striped. Say the rule. Get ready. Yes, I keep the frog in the box that is striped. Keep reading with me. Get ready. Then Tom's brother said, don't get mixed up because I keep my pet tiger in one of the other boxes. Here's, here is what Tom saw. Everybody, how many boxes are in the room? Get ready. Yes, three. Is the frog in box A, box B, or box C? Get ready. Yes, box C. How do you know the frog is in box C? Get ready. Yes, because it's striped. Let's go to the next page at the top. Get ready. We're reading together. Tom looked at box A. He tried to think of the rule his brother had told him. Stop right there. Everybody get ready to say the last part of that rule. Get ready. Yes. I'm going to say it, the last part is in the box that is straight. I'm going to say the first part of the rule. You'll finish the rule. Okay? So listen. Big. I keep the frog. What's the rest? Get ready. Yes, in the box that is striped. I keep the frog in the box that is striped. Okay, so here are some questions. Get ready. Is box A striped? Everybody, what's the answer? Get ready. No. So is the frog inside box A? Get ready. No. Tom looked at box B. Is box B striped? Everybody, what's the answer? Get ready. No. So is the frog inside box B? Everybody, what's the answer? Get ready. No. Get ready. Tom looked at box C. Everybody, is that box striped? Get ready. Yes, it is. So is the frog inside box C? Get ready. Yes. Keep tracking. After looking at all the boxes, Tom opened box B. Everybody, did Tom open the right box? Get ready. No. How do you know box B is not the right box? Get ready. Right, because box B isn't striped. Did a frog hop out of box B? Get ready. No. Get ready, turn to the next page and you will see what happened. 
turn the page. Boys and girls, what happened? What happened when Tom opened Bob's beak? Get ready. Yes, the tiger jumped out of the box. What is peeking out of Boxy? Get ready. Yes, a frog. The frog. Okay. So look at part E. Here are the last three questions. 11, 12, and 13. All right. That are, if we go back, just to look at the questions you answer, you're going to answer about um, the story, Living Things. It stops at number 10. 11, 12, and 13 are after this story about the tiger and the frog. Okay, so 13 questions you are going to answer on a blank sheet of paper. It's going to have your first and last name at the top, today's date, all right? And it's going to read lesson one. You are to take a picture of your work, upload it, um, and post it on North Dakota page or send me a picture of it. It's better if you post it on the page so I can see you turning in your work like that, okay? Now, it is for a grade, so congratulations one more time. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, Teams Dojo Remind, or call me. Well, thank you so much, second graders, and have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye.